Enrolling in a sound engineering course can be a difficult decision that costs you lots of commitment, energy, time, and money. Before deciding, it's good to have a rough idea about the different sound engineering roles. Lots of confusion arises because terminologies and workflows do overlap. That said, here's a general guide to sound engineering roles. Recording studio engineer. This person traditionally records and mixes music for streaming platforms or, for example, the old CD format. Mastering engineer. This person takes the stereo mix from the studio and prepares it for release on one of many formats that might be CD, vinyl, or most likely one of the many streaming platforms. Broadcast engineers. They broadcast audio for TV or radio. Post-production audio engineer. Typically deals with sound for picture, probably gonna be film or TV. Game audio. These guys and girls add audio for games. Music producer. Music producers in Dubai typically create music for television commercials, radio jingles, or games. Sound engineers with music production skills are better placed to find employment, at least here in Dubai. And finally, live sound engineering. Without doubt, this is where the majority of the employment lies. Sound engineers can work in live music for events, conferences, corporate events, cruise ships, music festivals. Live sound engineers can also work in product launches, sporting events, fashion shows, and even do sound systems engineering. Sound engineering courses in Dubai. Now that you have a basic understanding of the sound engineering roles, let's look at your employability options. You can carry out your own desktop research in your own city and help you decide which sound engineering course is best for you. Let's start with a search engine and see how many recording studios there are in Dubai. You will probably find about two pages of 15 or 20 studios. From my own experience here, it seems to me that the majority of the studios are in fact project studios as opposed to your traditional recording studio. Mastering studios. At this point, there are no dedicated mastering studios in Dubai. You can find them in bigger cities. However, here, lots of the project studios and, and recording studios do offer mastering services. Post-production studios in Dubai. Most of the studios here are, of course, offering audio for post services. A lot of the time it's done in-house at production companies as well. Some of the time, video editors manage their own sound. The Middle East does have a flourishing audio post-production industry. TV stations also do a good amount of post-production work in-house. In my experience here in Dubai, Arabic speakers tend to have a bit of an advantage over non-Arabic speakers when it comes to post-production. Game audio. Game audio seems to be done in the studios here. Live sound engineering. Live sound engineers are typically hired by event companies. So if you Google search event companies in Dubai, you're gonna find pages upon pages of event companies. This is good news for live sound engineers. For example, in the yellow pages, event management companies is something like 242 entries. For recording studios, you can find nine listings. Just to revise, live sound engineers work in events, clubs, hotels, ballrooms, cruise ships, conferences, corporate events, fashion shows, music festivals, product launches, sporting events, trade shows. Another excellent way to measure employability is to check which trade shows are in your city, area or region. Here in the UAE, we have Messe Frankfurt, CabSat, Broadcast Pro Me Awards. In Saudi Arabia, there is Saudi Light and Sound Expo. In India, Palm Expo, Broadcast India. This is good news for live sound engineers because it demonstrates opportunities. Job portals in your city are also a good way to check where the jobs are. Sound engineering jobs in Dubai. How many are in studios? How many are in live events? How many are in broadcast? How many are in post-production? So here you can get an idea about where is the employability. 
Facebook groups can also be a good way to reach communities of people. For example, in the Facebook group Hey Audio Student, I asked the community where is the sound engineering employability. In 2018, for my master's thesis, I asked 106 sound engineers where is the employability. You can see the results for yourself. This desktop research can help you find which sound engineering course is best for you. These are my experiences in sound engineering courses and sound engineering employability. I hope the research is going to be helpful for you to decide which sound engineering course is best for you.